Hi, I'm the woodpecker today. I'm making this dust shoe for my CNC. And as you will see, it's quite easy to put in place. You just have to slide it over the spindle. If you have a CNC, you know that most of the time, dust is flying all over the place. If you're not just beside it with a vacuum, it always ends up where we don't want it to be. It's the reason why a dust shoe is so useful. I made this one for my old CNC. I almost never used it. I had to screw it in place and use those knobs to set its height. This time I'm going to do something way better. I begin by drawing the shape I want from my future dust shoe in Aspire. Then I move each layer onto several sheets to the size of the plywood I'm going to use. Then the CNC is able to cut this. As you can see, I'm recycling the sides of some old drawers. This is not big enough for anything else. I must admit, this takes a lot of time. As you can see, I have to follow the router bit with the vacuum all the time. When it's done, I have all this. Now I need to cut all the tabs. Next, I clean all the edges with sandpaper. I'm super careful because some of the pieces are quite fragile. But when it's glued together, it's quite sturdy. To make the glue up easier, I do this in several steps. You can see two small glue ups here. In the end, I have several small glue ups. When the glue can hold them together, I glue all of them into one dust shoe. Now I leave this to dry overnight. It's only the next morning that I realized I made a mistake in the design. I need to fix it with a rasp. Then I can remove what's remaining of all the tabs. But when I put that on my CNC, I see right away that it's not long enough because it's not clearing the spindle support bracket. But it stays in place quite nicely. To be able to try this, I put the magnets in place and glue the broom around the removable broom support. Here I use hot glue. This sticks fabric to wood very well. Now I can try this. I can see it's working super well. The dust is sucked right in. But it's way too thick. I decide to make a new design. This way, I'll be able to repair all my mistakes. Since this one has fewer tears, it takes less plywood. But it also means another cutting session. Since it's a bit longer, I have to place the pieces differently on the plywood. But I don't have to make the brush support again. This has to be glued together. And just like last time, I do it in several steps. The next day, it's possible to try it out. This time, it's perfect. There's no slack and it can be locked in place with only a spring clamp. Just like that. To be able to try it for real, I need to install the magnets. Perfect. This is exactly the height that I need for this bit. See how it's perfect. But if it weren't, I would just have to remove the clamp, move the dust shoe and put the clamp back. As simply as this, I have this result. But I don't want the vacuum to work constantly. 
so I made this small box for the electronic circuit I made. I spent several days working on this. It was working like a charm in the basement. But in the box, uh, I guess it's overeating and after about 30 minutes, this happened. I'm going to use a circuit I made that transmits the value of the water pump instead and start the vacuum with the new thermostat I made for the shop. This will be in a future episode. Now it's time to show how it works. The first thing I can say is that it's working like a charm. Just by looking at it, it's obvious that there's no dust left. But uh, I'm not sure you'll see it often, because you can't see what the CNC is doing. But uh, I don't need to stay beside with the dust hose in hand. Now, when I carve stuff, the dust is taken care of automatically. No more dust in the air or everywhere around it. But <laughs> the pictures are awful. We only see the black brushes moving around. At least, there's no dust on the carvings. Here you can see the result more clearly. All those Christmas ornaments were carved with my new dust shoe. I can say how much this was appreciated. Ok, obviously it's René who has the biggest job and painting all this. This was the new dust shoe I designed. I can say it's the best, but it's perfect for me. The brass section is held in place with powerful magnets. Putting this on the CNC is a breeze. It only takes a couple of seconds. No screws, no fuss. The height is very simple to adjust. This hole is for a 45mm hose. But with the adapter I made, I can also use the 35mm hose. I can also use my biggest hose on the outside. I also added a small hole for compressed air if needed but uh, so far I haven't used it. The hose is held in place with another spring clamp. If you want to make your own dust shoe, I will leave my website link in the description section. I will have the design in SVG format and also in the Vectric format. And see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker!